In our last video, we learned how to create a separate calendar table for our reports. In this video, however, we will prepare the most important measures for utilizing Zebra BI visuals. Okay, let's bring in a visual by clicking on it in the visualizations pane. So this is the Zebra BI tables. We can simply drag and drop it to move it around and resize it by dragging the, any of the corners. So if you, if you have played around with Zebra BI visuals before, you might have noticed that there are several placeholder buckets besides the values one. Specifically, I'm talking about the previous year, plan and forecast. These are conveniently named so for you to know which measure to put where, as this will define their default behavior according to IBCS standards. Before we dive in and start writing our functions, let us take a look at what we already have in our sales fact table. So let's go to our data view and click on the sales table. And what we can see now is that we have our date table, which is connected to our calendar table and some ID columns that are connected to other dimension tables by which we filter our main fact table. But right now, however, let's focus on the revenue, cost and gross profit profit columns, which represent our main data values and the scenario column by which we will fil filter our values in the measures which we will now build. Returning to the report view, we create a new measure by right clicking on any part of the table in which we wish to create a new measure. In this case, it would be the sales table and we right click a new measure. But we can also find the option uh, in the home tab or in the modeling view here under new measure. The new measure will always be created in the table that is selected. So let's select any of the columns here and go to the modeling view and hit new measure. Now let us start with the actuals for the revenue. Let's name the measure revenue AC for actuals and equals to calculate. We can simply hit tab to enter and sum of revenue. Now we need to filter this. Oh, we just for forgot the parentheses here. Now we need to filter this by filter the sales table by sales scenario hit uh, tab and equals to AC hit enter and the measure is created. Now we can also format it and this will be applied. We can now reuse the DAX code for the plan values. You can simply copy and paste and hit new measure again, paste it, just rename the AC to PL. And again, in the filter, switch to PL, hit enter. And we already have our plan values for the revenue. Now for the previous year, we can again click on the new measure, write in revenue and PY. And in this case, we will write calculate. But now we can reference directly the revenue AC. So we can write it revenue AC. And now we will use a time intelligence function. And for this, it was important for us to have a separate calendar table. So we write in here date add and write in the dates, so calendar date. And now we need to specify how we want to move the interval. So it is one, minus one, and the interval will be in our case year. Now we can hit enter. And we have our previous year measure. In our example, we don't have the data 
the scenario for forecast, but the steps for creating the forecast measures are the same as for actuals and plan. Now lastly, we can hide the non-measure columns in order for Power BI to automatically mark the sales table as a measures table. We do this by right-clicking on the column, and let's just move this a little bit, and select hide. Once we are done hiding all the non-measure columns, you'll see that the table will automatically be marked as a, sales, uh, as a measures table. There, we have our basic measures ready. For a detailed explanation about them, you can check out our knowledge base article, which you will find in the link in the description. Now I would like to invite you to join us in the next video, where we will use our prepared data model with Zebra BI tables.